بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم we begin with Allah's blessed name we praise him and we glorify him as he ought to be praised and glorified and we pray for peace and for blessings on all his noble messengers and in particular on the last of them all the blessed prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam as we greet you with the dua of the Prophet, Allah's blessing be upon him, the dua which is must known. Allahumma barik lana fi rajabin wa shaban wa barikna ramadan. O Allah kindly grant us blessings in Rajab, the month of Rajab, and in Shaban which is to follow. And grant that we may live to reach Ramadan, inshallah. And we have a question to ask today. A very important question. Our Prophet, Allah's blessing be upon him, has told us about Dajjal, the Antichrist, the false messiah. That when he's released, he lives on earth for 40 days, and this is the book I'm writing now. Uh, Yawmun Kasana, one day which will be like a year. Yawmun Kashar, one day which will be like a month. Yawmun Kajuma, one day which will be like a week. وَسَائِرُوا أَيَّامِهِ كَ 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 أَيَّامِكُمْ كَ أَيَّامِكُمْ كَ أَيَّامِكُمْ And all his days كَ أَيَّامِكُمْ Like your days Are you going to think? <laughs> Are you going to think? And so now Before his day becomes like our day the Antichrist has to pass through three periods, three stages. And these three stages are also mentioned in the Quran in Surah Al Mursalat, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ba'da'uzu billahi min shaitani rajim in taliku ila zillin zi salasi shu'ab. Proceed to a shadow comprised of three parts. We are interpreting the Quran. And so no need for any boxing gloves. Only Allah can confirm that an interpretation is correct. But we have the right to interpret. If our interpretation is correct, then it becomes the truth. The dogs can bark as much as they want, but the caravan will keep on moving because it is the truth. And so now then, we have interpreted the three periods, the three stages in the life of the Antichrist as stages in which you will see the evidence of the Antichrist moving to eventually rule the world from Jerusalem. At which place and at which time he can then declare, Anel Masi, I am the Messiah, which would be a lie, because he's not the Messiah. The Messiah is the son of the Virgin Maryam. That is the Messiah. And that Messiah came. And that Messiah left. And that Messiah will return. The dogs can bark as much as they want. They won't stop it. That Messiah will return. The Christian believes that, and the Muslim believes that, and the dogs can bark as much as they want. They won't stop the caravan from moving on. And so now, then we said that in stage one of the life of the Antichrist, he created Pax Britannica when suddenly and mysteriously an island off the coast of Europe that Napoleon contemptuously dismissed as a nation of shopkeepers. That island became the ruling state in the world. No combination of rivals could threaten it. That's a ruling state. Pax Britannica. And I, if you read my book, Jerusalem in the Quran, you'll see the evidence we provide that Pax, Judaic, Pax Britannica was the first stage. In fact, it's the cover design 
of Jerusalem in the cross. You don't have to buy the book. All my books can be downloaded free of charge from my website. Mm -hmm. Then there's also explaining Israel's mysterious imperial agenda, another book that you can read on this subject. We said that when Pax Britannica came to an end, then Pax Americana mysteriously succeeded Pax Britannica and this became the second stage of the life, in the second stage of the life of the Antichrist. And uh, 20 something years ago, when Jerusalem in the Quran was written, at that time I said we are now living at that moment in history which is a moment of transition i could see it 20 something years ago that pax americana was in irreversible decline irreversible decline and therefore that there was going to be a third stage and a third ruling state which would succeed Pax Americana. And I gave the view which many people accepted but some deferred with me that Pax Judaica would replace Pax Americana. The question that we now have to ask is has the third stage started already? Are we already living in Pax Judaica? I have many people <laughs> writing to me. You will be surprised how many people write to me. Not just Muslims, Christians as well. Even those who don't have a faith, they write. There are many, many people writing to me from so many parts of the world. And there are amongst them those who are arguing with me that Pax Judaica has already begun that we are now living in Pax Judaica. What I want to do today is to confirm, yes, we see the evidence now that a Pax Judaica is coming. The United, the United States of America has been the protector of the baby, Israel, protecting Israel. The United States of America, as a permanent member of the Security Council of the United Nations, has vetoed every single resolution, every single resolution that attacks Israel, that is a threat to Israel, that seeks to block Israel. They veto it, everything. And the only time the United States will vote for a resolution is when it is sufficiently diluted to be acceptable to Israel. And so this is the supporter, this is the protector of Israel. So when Israel is saying to the United States, we, we are not going to obey you, you don't control us. You're seeing the signs of, of Israeli independence from the United States. When, the United, when Israel is saying, we don't care for the United Nations, the United Nations Security Council, the United Nations General Assembly, they can't stop us. They can't stop us. You know that Israel is flexing her muscles. And when South Africa takes the Israel to the International Court of Justice in The Hague with a charge of genocide, and Israel responds to say, even if we lose the case, in the Hague, the ICG, the International Court of Justice, cannot stop us. The International Court of Justice, we, they are arguing, can stop Venezuela in a sequibo, but cannot stop Israel, what Dan says. So the evidence is now plain and clear that Israel is flexing her muscles and showing the signs of a Pax Judaica which is coming. But I still hold the view that the United States of America's Pax Americana is still in existence. It's still, it is still intact. It has not as yet ended. 
and it will only end when the Great War takes place and modern Western civilization is defeated. And so we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might bless our people, particularly the young ones, the young ones, mashallah, the young ones, to constantly observe events unfolding in the world, to be able to recognize the three stages of the Antichrist. And so they won't be surprised on that day when someone stands up in Jerusalem and declares that I am the Messiah and who sees with two eyes and he says I am the Messiah and our students will say no you are Dajjal while they say no 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 he can't be Dajjal he's seeing two eyes <laughs> he's seeing with two eyes and our prophet said and Dajjal sees with one eye thank you wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh